Hey guys, it's PC Purse, and today we're talking about how and why you need to clean your dancer pole. It basically boils down to two things, which are health and safety. So what are you cleaning off the pole? Well, let's go in order from least gross to most gross. So least gross would be gripping aids, so anything that you put on your hands or your body to keep you from sliding off the pole. That's just going to leave a residue on your pole. Next would be antiperspirant and lotion. They're going to make the pole very slippery, so that's definitely a safety hazard. Third would be the most gross, and that would be dead skin, bacteria, sweat. So as you can imagine, exposing yourself to that could leave you open to getting all types of like bacterial infections, maybe staph, something like that. Before we talk about how to clean your pole, let's talk about some things you should absolutely never, ever, ever use to clean your pole. First thing would be anything super abrasive like scouring pads. No, no, no. Second thing you don't want to use, you don't want to use household detergents like furniture polish and you don't want to use bleach. None of those things are going to work and they could actually damage your pole. Most people are familiar with poles like this one which is a metal pole, but there are actually other types of poles like silicone poles and powder coated poles and both of those need to be cleaned in a very different way. A silicone pole might require you to take a trip somewhere kind of spicy <laughs> because you can use adult toy cleaner for silicone products to clean your silicone pole. So what you'll do is you'll take your adult toy cleaner, you'll spray your microfiber cloth down, and then you'll use that to wipe down your pole. Powder coated poles are different from silicone poles and they're also different from metal poles so they have to be cleaned differently. For the powder coated poles, what you want to do is you want to take a very, very mild cleaning detergent, mix that with water, and once again, you want to grab your microfiber cloth, you want to put the solution on here, and then from there, you want to wipe down your pole. Make sure your rag isn't dripping wet. The next pole we're going to talk about is a brass pole, and for the brass pole, that too needs to be cleaned differently from your silicone pole, from your powder coated pole, and from the other metal poles that we'll talk about in a second. But for the brass pole, you need a brass cleaner. It can be very messy, and so in addition to your microfiber cloth, you're going to also want some gloves. Lastly, let's talk about the most familiar poles, which are the chrome, the titanium gold, and the stainless steel. For all of those, very simply, you need a solution of alcohol and water. Most people mix alcohol that's maybe 90 and up percent with water in about a 50-50 split. So to clean your pole, no matter what kind you have, one thing I'm going to stress that you need to get is this microfiber cloth. The reason that you need a microfiber cloth is because it doesn't leave any lint behind, which is very, very important. No residue. What you're going to do for each of these poles is spray your rag down, not spray the pole. Once you have your rag sprayed where it's not dripping wet, then you're going to use that to clean your pole. And put a little bit of effort into it if you have some really stuck on spots. And for any of your metal poles, you can uh, use a concentrated amount of alcohol for really, really stuck, uh, nasty bits. How often should you clean your pole? Well, if you're in a class, before you start your class, you should clean it. And once you're done, for the next person, you should clean your pole. If you work in a club, you should clean your pole before your set and before each set. <laughs> and if you're in a rotation, each time you hit a new pole, you might want to wipe it down. If you're in a competition, between each person, they're going to wipe it down. If you're at home, you should still clean your pole often. I mean, it's your germs, but they're still germs, so don't be nasty. I mean, you've got a little more leeway, but I would still say at least each day you should wipe down your pole. I mean, depending on how quickly you get it dirty, maybe, and how often you train, maybe you need to clean it down a little bit more. Some tips and tricks. If you're in class and you're cleaning your pole, that is definitely an opportunity to practice getting your sexy on. And if you work in a club, it is especially your job to still be cute while you're cleaning your pole. So I'm going to show you some examples of that. If you're staying low to the ground and you're not really climbing, then you can just wipe down the pole from about as high up as your arm is going to reach. If you are climbing, one thing that you can do is hook your spray bottle somewhere in your clothing where you think it won't fall 
and then you can tuck your rag somewhere. And you've got your hands and your legs free to climb, and then you can release it. Another thing that you can use to clean are antibacterial wipes. Just make sure that they don't say moisturizing because if you put any type of moisturizing agents like lotions on your pole, you're gonna slip. If you are a dancer and you have to bring your own towels to work because they might not supply them, I like black ones because <laughs> they won't show any type of dirt that you might be cleaning off the pole. And I also suggest bringing a few of them because once you wipe down the pole with this, it's it's dirty, it's got germs on it. So you might want to swap that out for another one. So if you have to have a few sets on the stage, you might want to figure out how many times you're going to go up there and bring enough of those for each time you go up. So you know it's always fresh. Alternative things I've seen people use to clean their pole in a crunch, hand sanitizer on their cloth, and also vodka. Remember, clean your pole to keep yourself from getting sick and clean your pole so that you can stick. <laughs> I'm corny. <laughs>